Peter, could you tell us a little bit about First Precision Carbide Limited? Yes, we're uh, tool makers manufacturing uh, specialist dyes for cold forming industry, predominantly tungsten carbide and quite elaborate forms. And what type of uh, size of product do you uh, work with here? We're working at the moment from anything from half a mil diameter up until about 25 mil maximum size. Now you, you've made some big investments here with the Sodic uh, AD35L machines, you've got two of them here, but how was you manufacturing your products before the EDM die sinkers? Well prior to getting the die sinkers we would actually be form grinders um, and with some of the forms it actually required a certain amount of hand work as well, which was very, very difficult. Having the die sinkers obviously has changed that, we're able to produce all the forms, some of them quite difficult that we weren't able to produce in the first place and, uh, and now it's just polishing as opposed to handwork. And what sort of saving in cost and time is it for, for your company? Well cost haven't been a massive saving, time is where it's improved, it's given us, it's possibly doubled our capacity and with that we're able to then spend more time actually improving the product and the other area it's improved because obviously in tool making there is a, a massive technical shortage and so what we've done is de-skilled the job by introducing this type of technology and hopefully this will enable us to bring in younger people into the trade. So when you look at EDM machines on the market there's quite a number of different products available to the market in the UK. Why did you pick Sodic? Well this is an interesting one because when I was researching to going into this uh, process I spoke to a, a, a number of people that actually have used the various types of uh, die sinkers that were on the market and this one actually come out on top and it's proven it to be the case and it wasn't just on actually performance it also was on service and the, the common theme seemed to be when speaking about the Soditech was that service brilliant but we've not used it whereas with some of the other competitors not so good. So when you look at the machine that you invested in two years ago, and obviously this one that we're looking at here, is, this has been in for around about eight months, is, it, does that give the testament of how good these machines are for your company? Absolutely, they've been brilliant. We've had no problems whatsoever with either machine. I don't envisage any problems in truth. And their performance has been unbelievable. And more to the point, does this give you the capacity to offer to new customers that are looking for carbide manufacturing or cutting come and talk to you guys? Absolutely, yes. It's, it's certainly over this last two years of working with these machines and seeing what we're able to produce as opposed to where we're form grinding is a tremendous improvement. And yes, certainly come and talk to us. And I've also noticed you've done a little bit of investment in marketing. You've got a brand new website. Is that on the back of what you've got here, this process and the Sodix machines? Indeed it is, yes. It's another area we're moving forward on and hopefully we'll bear some fruits for that. Well, sounds like a great British successful story. Thanks very much for your time, Peter. Thank you.